We've got a 24 volt setup in a work truck. This is a um, SA Water work truck. We put a decent power system in so they can run their core drills and such like that. We've also got an Ibis 4 on the roof of this with strip lighting throughout. Then, it's beautiful in here. It's really nice. This is a full brand new build. We've got a temperature control fridge too. So this, this will be sitting at a controlled temperature. So they needed to have a fridge on all the time. It's a huge fridge. Like this is, that's a six foot. You know, I'm only small, so that's six foot up there. It's a massive fridge. And it actually doesn't draw a lot of energy. So, um, you can see we're charging now. So we've only got 284 watts of solar coming in. We're charging and running that fridge and running these lights. So there's a lot of energy coming in this. We've actually done 1100 watts of solar, 1140 watts. So there's heaps coming in. This thing has, this is off grid and this is gonna be able to run uh, pretty much permanently. Um, the air conditioner though will be variable, of course. And down here, we've done, so these are from Solar for RVs. These are their 24 volt versions. So these are all cowb cells. So there's 326 amp hours at 24 volts there. So if you were to work it out in 12 volts for people that wants to want to understand it in 12 volts, it's about, about 660 odd amp hours. So Victron Link's power in, taking care of the battery system to be split over the system here. So that's got the distribution there. We are running the Busman fuse system, which is here labeled. Tough to see, there's no light in there, sorry guys. We've got the Busman fuses back there, which is to cover 24 volt Orion DC charger and two solar controllers for the roof. So 1140 watts, so we've got 600 watts running into one of the solar controllers and another 540 into the other. Uh, they are well within their means, being 24 volts essentially, you've, um, you've doubled their output, their potential output. So uh, there's a lot of energy here. Reason for the split controllers, same thing, we've got a front array and a rear array in front of the air conditioner and behind the air conditioner. So uh, the front array shade, the rear will continue to, to run without any issues there. Multi plus two 24 volt inverter charger with a 70 amp mains charger inbuilt so that'll fast charge this bank when they plug into the grid if they plug into the grid at all this is uh, essentially an off grid setup. Um, Ruby tag for temperature sensing here we've vented down the bottom we've vented up top and this door is about to have a massive vent uh, that have been installed which is Riley's doing right now so this is this is going to be pretty much Never accessed, only for service if required. These are all bolted down, hard, hard to see again. So the, the bracketry for this is secured down. Uh, this is not a habitable area. There's no sleeping quarters in here. So this, this setup can be like this. Uh, trunking through here now, you, you can't feed any wires in the walls of this. So we've had to put the trunking through down the sides and the back of the fridge to run up for our setup. But the result is here and it's, it's beautiful. Look at that, a little bit more. It's a fully overcast day, but so we'll go over the temperatures we've got here and we'll show you. So we've got so battery, battery area temp, fridge temperature, inverted charger, solar front, solar rear. And that's getting a bit brighter outside now. Cool. 